So lots going on in this episode, but we wanted to bring you up to speed just a little bit on the issue with our bedroom slide. We did get it fixed, we got it corrected. We didn't film the actual fix part because it was one of those scenarios. We just needed to get it done and back on the road. What it ended up being was actually a circuit board. We ordered that in from Amazon, had it sent to the campground, got it installed, and our slide is back in working order, which you'll see in today's episode, but lots going on. We know that you're gonna enjoy this video. Yeah, the inverter turned on, so I'm okay. Well, that's, that's good. Working, so. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, there it is. It so, did blow apart. I uh, made a mistake. So I know we're trying to get out of here, but you gotta come look at this. What is it? Oh, just come look. This is really interesting. I remember the last time you said that. <laughs> But I think it's done. It's not done, and then I'm like, oh, oh, still going. There it goes. Still going. Now it's turning. Then I'm like, are we right. done? She's level. What do you think, Alaska? Is mom still mad about the bacon I stole off her plate? All right, this should work now. Woohoo! I love it. It's automatic. So we're getting ready to head out to go check out Shenandoah National Park. Now this is just one of those days where the day hasn't gone like we had wanted it to. So we're getting a late start, but we still should be able to see some of the national park. So one tip that we just did because it was raining earlier, bring in your awnings. If you're going to leave, just bring them in. Don't risk anything happening, especially if it's not something where you absolutely need it for the shade or something like that do yourself a favor. So we're gonna finish bringing those in and then hop in and head out. I could yeah. just see this being a disaster right now. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please don't do that. We've made some pretty cool upgrades to our RV this year from our max air fans to our new toilet that feels more like a home toilet and not an RV toilet to a different tow bar to bring our Jeep along. We've been super thankful for the resource that we have found for all of these accessories with eTrailer. One of the reasons we love working with eTrailer is you can actually call and get a real person on the phone when maybe you just aren't sure what part you need or what might work best for your specific application. I mean, let's face it with hundreds of RV makes and models, most replacement parts or upgrades are not a one-size-fits-all option and we like being able to jump on the phone with e-trailer support before we order something to make sure we're ordering the correct part. If you've been considering some upgrades for your RV, need replacement parts, hitches, or bike racks, check out e-trailer at the link in the description below. Channel sponsors help us keep bringing great content to you week in and week out for free. So we are super thankful to eTrailer for their support of our channel in sponsoring this video and their support in helping us with upgrade RV projects. So of course, it would be raining and extremely foggy and we've been driving on this road for maybe like 10 miles and there's been all sorts of signs that have pointed to like scenic overlooks and everything and I'm sure that it's just the best views ever but it is so stinking foggy and rainy. You can't see a thing today. It's like, we're gonna have to have a do-over at some point here because this is just uh, not the best day to take in any views, but we're here. We're at least seeing what we can see. Trinity's in the back doing her Junior Ranger book. Maybe the sun will come out and burn it off. Hey, you never know. I mean, that could happen. When I looked at the forecast earlier in the day, it did show thunderstorms, at least where we were, to about three. It's about three. 
so it could happen. You never know, but it is not like a promising at all. This weather is making me tired. It is a pretty view, Ooh, though. It is pretty. And it, hey, it looks like maybe the weather's going to clear a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now that the sun's out, the clouds should, or the fog should lift, lift up. So. Yeah. It's a pretty flower. So one of the fascinating things that we learned at the Visitor Center here at Shenandoah National Park is about something called the CCC. Now, probably going to get this wrong, but it had to do with like a civil core of conservation workers that um, the president back in the 30s, so many people did not have jobs, but they were 100% willing to work in. So the president at the time uh, gathered up this group of men, offered to pay them $30 a week, and they did a ton of projects here in Shenandoah National Park to make improvements, to build things, to help with infrastructure, to just make this a place where people could come and enjoy. So I know we're trying to get out of here, but you gotta come look at this. What is it? Oh, just come look. This is really interesting. I remember the last time you said that. Yeah. No, seriously, it's mm -hmm. very interesting though. Like, okay. how in the heck did this happen? There's one on the other side of the RV too. But this is like in less yeah. than... Yeah. Because we just got back from the National Park last night. Like this is yeah. in eight hours. Yeah, there's one by the slide to the ground out there. I mean, they're catching little bugs all over the place, as they should, because there's these little gnats that freaking ram right into your eyeball. <laughs> so we are headed out of Virginia today and where we've been staying near Shenandoah National Park. Kind of sad today because we said goodbye to some of our insiders that have been with us now for nearly a month. Bye. On the road. So been joining us for our Grateful Glamper summer caravan and today is the day where we both go different directions. So a little bit bittersweet. It's been so fun pulling into every campground and knowing you have friends. Yep. Every campground. Yeah. Friends. And also just knowing like if something goes wrong, because things always go wrong, it's just always nice to know like there's a second set of hands or, you know, I mean, it's just so great doing these types of trips in community. And so we'll have a link in the description below if you wanna join our insiders. This is one of the benefits that I think is probably one of the best benefits to being a Grateful Glamper insider is being able to come on some of these trips with us. Searching for a brighter day Leaving yesterday behind Looking forward into the light I found you This is where we're parking. Oh, wow. This is great. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Right here. I love it. So we are at Round Peak Vineyards in North Carolina. This is a Harvest Host location. 
And so we pulled in just before they closed so we could go buy our bottle of wine from them, which is what you should do if you stay at a Harvest Host location is give that business some sort of business. But this is the most beautiful place. I am so excited that we're gonna be able to just overnight here tonight. Beautiful view, super quiet out here. And look at this office area that we, we have for here. the evening. It's awesome. I mean, this is amazing. Got my computer even plugged into an outlet right here and trying to wrap up this week's video. And <laughs> I, got my, I got my switch right here. It's the best office. Anyway, Harvest Host, great awesome. option for overnighting. We do have a 15% off discount that we'll have a link in the description below because we absolutely love uh, using Harvest Hosts. And this is amazing. It's definitely a better option than Walmart in our opinion. So it's been kind of a little bit of a frustrating day just with lots of different things that kind of, not necessarily have gone wrong, but just like didn't go smooth. So our Starlink being one of those evidently reset itself. <laughs> That's crazy. And anyway, so we were like- They renamed the network to what? Stinky. <laughs> so anyway, so my word over the last three hours has just been, let's just move forward. <laughs> let's just move forward. Let's not try to figure out how, why, whatever, like we need to move forward. And I think sometimes you just, anyway, you hit those places in life where it's like, you could sit there and you could overanalyze. You could try to analyze how, why, whatever, but move forward. That's, that's my profound statement. Yeah. Move forward. So we're stopped at our rest stop for lunch and to upload video. And I uh, made a mistake of using the air fryer and the microwave at the same time. Now I was under the impression since they're on separate circuits and we have a new 3000 watt inverter that we had everything we needed for that to happen, but no, not so much. So anyway, my mistake. Water bubble turn on. Bad, bad day. I did it good, didn't I? Yeah, you did. It uh, literally blew the whole fuse. Told you. And this just isn't any ordinary fuse, is it? No, but you know what? Luckily, I do have a spare on hand. You want to show us the spare, Dakota? That, wait, is it real gold? It's a fuse. It actually is gold plated. I just looked on Amazon to see yeah. so we can order another one to have on hand. It says they're gold plated. Yeah. Oh, I'm keeping it. This is mine. All right, I learned a lesson. Yeah. Rookie mistake. Okay, so it should work now because I changed out the fuse. Here's the old one. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, there it is. So it did blow apart. It did spark when I put it back on, so got it all tightened up. And so let's test it out. It should work now. All right, I gotta let's keep the gold. I'm so happy right you now. You know, we're on a streak. Yeah of like being able to troubleshoot things ourselves. Now, we did have to call Josh on yeah. this with Roadworthy RV Tech. Yep, but, so, but he answered, like he was available yeah. to take our call, so. Totally awesome. All right, let's, moment of truth, let's go figure it out. Yeah, the inverter turned on, so I'm pretty oh, hopeful that well, that's it's good. working, so. Okay, let's turn it all on. go right. turn it all on and see. All right. Okay, moment of truth. Turning the battery and auxiliary on. And it works! Do we have power? Yeah. Is your fan on? Yeah. Woohoo! Chalk one up for the Grateful Glampers turning into handy people! Thanks, Josh! Gold. All right, so what did you do, Trinity? I got my Junior Ranger badge, and then, and then on the back, I don't know if you can see it very well. What's in the back? Um, I 
I stamped it with a passport stamp with a date on it. So she knows the date and she got her badge. Awesome. Now, Dakota and I are just chilling out in the Jeep while the ladies are uh, get, get your seat up. doing their business. Nice. Uh, Dad, your seat. Dakota, oh. you're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, outside, probably here. Yeah.